Hey guys, welcome back to Smith RC Studios. My name is Lewis Smith. Thanks for tuning in. Um, happy Sunday. Today is actually just a continuation video of uh, last week's epic unboxing of this four foot boat right here behind me, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll post it below. I basically just took this out of the box. It's from Insane Boats. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I want to get it in the water already. I'm like really impatient. So I'm just gonna uh, take you through the steps of what I do. Um, Installing the shaft and uh, just the, the hardware is not a lot of work. Uh, I, I still need a prop So so yeah, if you guys haven't seen the boat It's right there. Uh, it's just really amazing so um this is from um, Insane boats and uh, Really excited about it running an OBR Signature series reed case engine, which I just cannot wait to start to get that um Broken in so anyway in the last video. I did not have this installed. I did this um, During the week, so here's the rudder as you can see here. It's got a um, a hole there where the water goes in it goes in the rudder and It goes into the hose here And it goes all the way in here to the to the um, head here which cools the engine so they're water cooled and um, And it's pretty much it. It was not not a lot of work here uh, these already came installed. I just gotta get the rudder in there. I'm sorry the 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 shaft in there Which is right here. We'll go ahead and take it out of the uh, Plastic All right guys, so um for the flex shaft, which is right here. It's literally just like a uh, flex shaft that uh, you need to grease up any uh, Grease really will do it's gotta be marine Marine uh, thick marine grease. Uh, this is what I normally use um, other people use different stuff this has worked for me and you just got to make sure it's on the whole shaft from here all the way up to here before you stick it in so let's go ahead and uh, I don't have any gloves normally it's better to use gloves because it's it can get pretty messy but you know what I'm impatient and uh, I don't want to get some gloves right now. So anyways, just get it all on there. Uh, it's really, really messy stuff. Okay. There you go. Okay, once you got it on there, just go ahead and install it. All right, just go ahead and uh, you just stick it in like this. Okay, make sure it comes in and you make sure it goes in there. All right, so there you have it. Uh, but before we even talk about props, um, I forgot, I, I don't think you guys have already seen the, um, the exhaust pipe, because it's sitting over here. Uh, normally on these boats, or a lot of these gas boats, they have, uh, the guys have the pipe running out through the back. Um, in this one, this uh, Synergy series uh, mono by um, Insane Boats, I like the fact that they run the pipe inside the boat, right? And it just comes out right here. It just makes it look a lot nicer. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I should, before I even run it, if I should uh, chrome this so that it could match the header over here. See how it's nice and curl maybe. Um, I was thinking maybe yes, maybe not. It's gonna be like maybe about 100 bucks or 200 bucks to do that. I don't know if I should do it since it's, it's it's sitting inside the boat. You're not gonna see it anyway. All right, so we'll see about that pipe. Um, but uh, another thing uh, about the electronics box, I already mentioned in the previous video, uh, this boat already comes with the uh, throttle and steering servos. All I need now is the receiver. And here you go, just plug it in. And it already has a battery in there. So let's see what kind of battery it comes with. Okay, cool. So, uh, I was thinking about running a kill switch on this boat. Uh, especially with an expensive boat, you know, and uh, you know, I'm running that OBR engine over there. and. And uh, so I, I was thinking about it, and I think I, I may just uh, go ahead and run. 
go ahead and run uh, the MOD mod um, kill switch here. So this is the auxiliary version that I think I'll just install in this boat here. So that'll be interesting. So uh, we'll probably be running Futaba or um, or maybe a Spectrum. I actually, I honestly run Spectrum on all my boats. I've never had a problem. So I may run Spectrum here, uh, unless maybe a Futaba. I, I'd never ran Futaba on a boat and that's what people recommend. So I may run a Futaba, but then that means I have to spend more money and get a, and buy and buy the uh, the receiver and the, um, the transmitter. Uh, but yeah, so, so um, props. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, uh, there's a lot to running these boats. It's not just, you know, Put gas in it and just run it and expect that it's gonna um, it's gonna run fast. It's it's all about um, what kind of engine you have and uh, if it's modified, of course, in a an exhaust pipe and also the propellers. So I have a couple of propellers here that I was gonna talk about for you guys. If you don't know, um, I don't know what propeller I'm gonna buy for this boat yet. I'm gonna test out certain propellers once I find the right one. I'm gonna go ahead and order it and have it balanced and um, and sharpened. Okay, so balanced and sharpened. So these propellers are roughly about three inches in diameter. So they're 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 pretty big guys and they're and they're they're metal. So they're they they can be pretty dangerous. Um, so this one here is your stock propeller from uh, Zellos Pro Boat. Okay, this is the propeller that comes with the Zellos Pro Boat, which is that boat over there. Okay, and um, I noticed that there's a lot of um, cavitation with this one if you have a modified engine. So it didn't really work for me, but um, I'm gonna try it here just to test it out. Okay, but uh, most likely I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna use this. So, um, and then here I have another propeller. This is a modified, uh, I'm sorry, not modified. This is a, um, I think is the same pitch as this one here. I, I don't know, but this one's balanced and this one is sharpened okay so this one i use on a mono so this one may be the one that i'm going to end up using on this uh synergy uh insane boats okay so this one here it's possible i'll use this one to test it out if so then i will order another one of these okay guys um and now so this one was the stock from the Zellos Pro Boat. It wasn't working. When, after I modified the boat, there was a lot of cavitation going on. So the boat would just like, just all of a sudden go. There's a lot of, basically a lot, a lot of air bubbles. Uh, so what works better for that boat now is a two blade. So this is a 270 slash two um, balanced and sharpened propeller by Prather. So this is a really, really good, really good propeller. Okay. This one here does make the zealous pro boat rip okay so i'm also going to try this on on here just to test it out and see if this works um and also if you guys have any suggestions uh, please let me know in the comments and i will try that but it'll be fun just to um i, I need to break in the engine first then i'm going to start uh, running different propellers and see what works best but i have a feeling that it's going to be something like this, a three blade sharpened and um, balanced propeller here. So yeah, we'll see. I'll take you guys along when I, when I do that and, um, and then I'll order it. So yeah, so that's that. All right, well, that's pretty much it guys. So I installed the shaft, um, all the hardware is installed. I spoke about the, the props. Um, so all we need now is basically install the receiver and uh, you know, mix some fuel up and, and rip rip the engine basically, or you know, break it in. So that's that's going to be the next step. Before I do that, though, uh, we will wait. I'm not going to run the actual boat um, any of these weekends. Um, as you can see, it's extremely hot here where I live in Texas. In fact, it's hard to make videos in the garage for more than about 15 minutes. So that, I mean, I'm cutting these videos a little bit shorter, but, but that's okay. Just uh, stay tuned and uh, we will definitely run the boat. I'm very anxious about it. I'm very excited about it. Uh, again, thank you to Steve Lopez over in California for uh, with, with Insane Boats for this beautiful four foot boat that I'm just really thrilled about and um, it's just ready to go. I just need to get that uh, the fuel and uh, we're all set. But anyway, 
Uh, thank you for tuning in here on a Sunday. Uh, stay tuned next Sunday for another video. Smith RC Studios out.